food plot time. This is what I'm gonna be using with this equipment. We're gonna be talking about it throughout the video and let's go find a site and prep. Lambert Acres here and we are gonna be planting the secret spot food plot. I have already sprayed the spot that I actually wanna do uh, near my tree stand, which I will show you after we talk inside. And uh, it's, it's dead-ish in the area. We are gonna rake it today and as soon as we rake it, we're going to broadcast this. So I wanted to talk inside because uh, I live in Ohio and it's flat and there's a lot of wind. We have planted um, some Impure Whitetail products in the past. I've done videos on those. Those do well short term. However, uh, long term, they kind of get overrun by weeds. So I wanted to try something in that I don't feel like it attracts more bucks to the area. So we're going to try something different. This only costed uh, seven bucks. So I figure I can't uh, can't go wrong with that. This is four pounds, plants up to 4,500 square feet, Imperial Whitetail Secret Spot Private Food Plot. It says it's better than bait. It says says uh, Secret Spot is designed to draw deer into funnels, pinch points, trails, and other small remote hunting sites and hold them. Can be planted with mineral, with minimal effort and equipment such as hand tools secret spot establishes quickly and begins to draw deer right away even in partially shaded sites and can continue to produce after heavy browsing so the place we're going to be putting it is actually a, it, it does get a decent amount of sun broad range of forges spe specifically selected and combined to produce maximum traction through hunting season and beyond contains soil ph boosters to help forage growth even in slightly acidic soil, soils, designed for maximum traction with minimal planting effort, extremely drought and cold tolerant. So select an area and receive a minimum of four hours of sunlight. It tells you like some suggestions like logging roads and stuff like that. Spray it, which we did. Once vegetation has been cleared, like a rake, uh, after planting, we can do a test basket, which I, I don't really like those, uh, because I feel like, I don't know, that's not normal to be put there. So, uh, not, I don't, I wouldn't say it scares away the deer, but if I was an animal and there was a basket, uh, a circle fence right in the middle of everything I'm eating, I'd be like, what the heck is that? All right, this has 8% uh, ryegrass, 5% whitetail oats, 5% uh, dwarf Essex annual rape, 5% trophy annual rape, 4% Dixie crimson clover, 4% Alex bursum clover, 4% fridge triticale, 3% Yuchi arrowleaf clover, about 1% of Ladino clover, 1% of chicory, 1% other crop seeds, and 60% inner matter. And 0.7% weeds. So I'm not quite sure what inner matter is, but 60% of this bag is inner matter. Um, not uh anyways so our planting season for my zone which is zone 10 on here is august 1st through september 15th it's september 15th right now we are going to um plant it today uh and then do a video of the planting and then we're also going to do a video like progression videos because I use my own videos to see if I like that product. So I'll go back and be like, oh yeah, that sucked. I'm not spending my money on that again. Um, so there you go. All right, outside All we go. right, so we have the grass pretty much killed off and I put some dirt into two low spots where we're gonna put that secret spot. Now we're gonna throw the seed. So this is gonna be your last shot until the seed starts growing. So soak it all in, people, soak it all in. Let me walk over here so you can get a shot from the uh, the side, basically from 
my access point right here. So this area right here, and then there's a tree line of uh, a few cedar trees right there. And then on the other side of that cedar tree line, which they always do rubs on. So I like it. So there you go. We're gonna rake, we're gonna throw the seed out and then we're gonna rake it in with a uh, metal rake just to make sure that we get it all uh, soil to seed contact. But there you go. And next step is starting. All right, out. so we got half the bag, a little over half the bag actually, uh, for our first go around. And you can see the different seeds in there, the different sizes and everything. So it should be pretty cool. Uh, hopefully it works. All right, we are in week two of the food plot. I figured I'd give you a little update. So this right here is what we planted. Uh, the bigger ones seem to be about like two, three inches. Smaller ones obviously are just, just starting. But uh, they're throughout here. And I thought about raking the leaves up, but they actually popped before the leaves. So I think I'm gonna leave the leaves See what I did there and uh, and let them do their thing but this is where the food plot was I don't like to walk in it too much I know the deer walk in it <clears throat> but you can see the little greenery is popping up so pretty cool obviously the most noticeable areas that you're gonna see the little guys are uh, where I put the two piles of dirt to kind of fill in low spots Here's the other one. <clears throat> so this area gets a little bit less sun, less water, it's right underneath a tree. But you can see they're starting to pop up a little bit and something has been eating them. I'm assuming bugs, maybe rabbits. Uh, but uh, there you go. We will see what uh, happens with it. We'll keep you updated. All right, so we're just gonna do a quick update and then we're gonna end the video here. So the secret spot, food plot. It wasn't that expensive, first of all. Um, and so uh, my expectations weren't that high. And I would say my expectations were probably accurate. So for the first three or four weeks, um, it actually grew. And it probably got maybe inch and a half, two inches long at the most of, uh, and then it just got stunted like it didn't grow at all and it wasn't that deer were biting it off it just wasn't growing anymore it was like grass that hit a point and just is that length that's what it was kind of and it, it wasn't thickening either so it would it would grow all spindly um, which you saw kind of in the video the last video and then it kind of just like laid over and then nothing ever really happened with it um so when it came to deer season um like the heart of deer season like you know october november like the food plot wasn't even around anymore it just kind of fizzled out basically um which uh to me seems kind of crazy you think that you know it would work but another thing is these these food plot um, uh, businesses are in Texas and Georgia and all that and their seeds are not made for the north environment with that being said I'm going to create my own food plot for my own backyard uh, it's not gonna be for sale for anybody you know watching this or anything it's just it's just something I'm gonna create myself of um, seeds that actually do well here in Ohio. And I know there are seed companies that will do this up for me. However, um, it's gonna be a lot cheaper if I do it myself. So there you go. So we'll go ahead and give it a score though. Zero being the worst, 10 being the best. I'd give it a score of four. So I don't think it, it did have a little results which you so you can see and then right after that 
not so much. Not lasting results, I'll say that. Um, but I also did find another outdoors company. It's cascray.com. See the sweet apparel hat I got right there? Um, they sell apparel, they sell hunting stuff, fishing stuff, and uh, you can pretty much find anything you want on cascray.com. And um, use the code Lambert10. I'm going to put all this in the description below. But Lambert10, and you can get 10% off your order at cascray.com, which is an excellent company uh, based out of Ohio as well. Uh, not not necessarily near me. I'm in southern Ohio. This is in northern Ohio, but um, it's a great company and uh, I actually met the owner of the company and uh, Great guy great family and uh, eager to continue working with them. So There you go. Will I be doing secret spot again? No, I'll be doing a different food plot Like I said, I want to create my own um, also I want to create other areas, uh, different areas to do the food plots. So not just in the same area, other parts of my property. So there you go. All right. Leave it in the comments. What is your favorite food plot? Actually the commercial grade. So like, um, not commercial grade, but like one you can buy at the store. What is your favorite food plot? What is one that has worked well for you? This one obviously did not work well for me. And uh, I would only recommend it to people that, you know, want to see an immediate result, but then it's going to fizzle out. Um, and, and also that, that bag, I don't know uh, what I was thinking, but the bag probably should have been planted in just half of the area that I had um, prepared for it. So there you go. now we know a lot of seeds. All right, there you go. And thanks. Subscribe, like. Share this channel, share the video, that's how the channel grows. And